similarly a electron cannot occupy a place between two quantum levels in scientific words we will say that the electron in hydrogen atom at n equal to 1 cannot absorb any energy packet of less than 10.2 electron volt in general it can absorb only that quantum of energy which may excite it from present level to just any other level of course for removing the electron to infinity the energy needed is plus e n now before we study hydrogen spectrum and application of bohr theory on it we must learn something about spectrum in general so first of all we have a spectrum of white light when sunlight is allowed to pass through a prism we know there is dispersion of light by prism and a rainbow is obtained this is called visible spectrum consisting of seven colors as shown below the colors are v for violet i for indigo b for blue g for green y for yellow o for orange and finally r for red so this vip gear is from lambda equal to 400 nanometer at the violet end and 700 nanometer at the red end since e is equal to hc by lambda hence less is lambda more is the energy therefore the violet end of visible spectrum is of highest energy and red end is of lowest energy within this spectrum but it is only a part of a broad spectrum as shown below of course it is not possible for our eyes to see any part of it except the visible one thus we see that uv the ultraviolet region is just of higher energy and ir the infrared region is just of lower energy than the visible region let us now also have a brief idea of the types of spectra first continuous spectrum the visible spectrum is an example of this it is continuous in the sense that there is no dark space between any two colors second discontinuous spectrum in such a spectrum there are dark zones or gaps between the spectral lines such spectra are produced by elements and the compounds the spectrum produced by atoms is called line spectrum or atomic spectrum while that produced by molecules is called molecular or band spectrum as shown below the hydrogen spectrum which we are going to study soon will be due to hydrogen atoms and hence line spectrum third emission spectrum when the substance whose spectrum is to be prepared itself behaves as a source of light for example red hot iron then emission spectrum is obtained this spectrum may be line or band depending on the molecular nature of the substance number 4 absorption spectrum when light from some source is allowed to fall upon a sample the sample may absorb some part of the incident light and the remaining light thus coming out is allowed to fall on a prism 
then the spectrum obtained is called absorption spectrum. Well, now we come to our main task, study of hydrogen spectra. If some hydrogen gas in the form of atoms or even in the molecular form is taken in a discharge tube at low pressure and a high electric voltage is passed through this, then some light radiations are emitted out of the tube. When these radiations, after passing through a series of slits to isolate a narrow beam of light, is allowed to pass through a prism, then a spectrum is obtained as line spectrum of hydrogen. Although we had taken H2 molecules, but energy of voltage dissociates them into atoms. The emission of light from the discharge tube is due to the fact that electron of hydrogen atom gets excited by absorbing energy. It goes to some higher orbit or energy level, but the life period of excited state is hardly of 10 to the power minus 6 to 10 to the power minus 8 seconds. Hence an excited electron reverts back to lower level, not necessarily to its original level, because it may get another quantum of energy and get excited. During this de-excitation, it emits out the energy in the form of light. Since there are large number of atoms in the sample of a gas taken in the discharge tube, hence large number of such excitations, de-excitations go on and we get series of lines in the spectrum. It should be clearly understood that it is not possible to pick up a single atom of hydrogen so as to prepare its spectrum. We get so many lines all due to large number of atoms and hence large number of electrons.